Hi, I'm Jim Graham with the Mega Brandis. Today I'm going to run through the quick setup of a Cactus RF60X Flash uh, with full TTL and high speed sync capability uh, when used with a Cactus V62 transceiver. Before getting started with the setup on the Flash, make sure that you've installed the current firmware for your camera brand in the V62. To set the flash to slave mode, turn on the flash, then you're going to select the mode button, hitting it a couple of times until you see S come up. The default mode is going to be group A, channel 1. To select the matching group to the V62, hit the group button until you see the correct group. Changing the channel, you'll need to hit the menu button and then the next button until you get the channel select and then hit the plus and minus button to select the correct channel. Once you've matched the group and channel to the V62, uh, you're ready to go. Everything is going to now be controlled by the V62. So high-speed sync, TTL, or manual power control can all be done directly from the V62 automatically or manually. In an upcoming video, we'll also go over how to use the RF60X flash as a transceiver to control other RF60X flashes in full manual control. And don't forget to look us up on Facebook at Cactus USA and visit us at omegabrandis.com. We have some exciting new products coming this summer.